Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 5 max chapter 10, tens and hundreds. So here we are going to uh, deal about decimal. First, let me explain the concept of this uh, chapter and then we'll see important question answers from this chapter. Let us see what is decimal. A fraction of the denominator in the multiples of 10 gives us a decimal number. You know what is numerator and denominator. Numerator is the number which is on top of the fraction. The below number is called as denominator. When this denominator is multiples of 10, it can be 10, 100, 1000 in uh, any multiples of 10, then that number is called as a decimal. For example, if it is 5 divided by 10, then we can write this number as 0.5. Decimal numbers and place values. Decimals denote those numbers which are smaller than 1. Here you can see in the scale 3 and 4. So in between lines you are called decimal points. So the first one is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4. This bigger one is 3.5. Then you can expect 3.67. So after 3.9 you will be getting 4.0. So, tens and hundreds. So, usually after decimal point, you can uh, say that value as tens place and second is hundreds place. So, decimal place value, uh, here the example is 52.753. This first number uh, after decimal. So, before decimal. Before decimal is called as ones and this y is tens. So, after decimal, it is 1 by tens, 1 by hundreds and 1 by thousands. Where will we use these kinds of decimals? Uses of decimals is in temperature, in money, in measurement. So, in measurement, uh, 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter, 1 kilometer equal to 100,000 uh, meter. So, when we write 23.46 centimeter, we intend to write 23 meter and 46 centimeter. So, how to write in terms of number name? In a number name, you have to write if it is 121.75, you have to write 121.75, you have to write. You should not write 75. After decimal, you have to uh, only specify the number 75. Next, we'll see sample question answers from this uh, chapter that you can expect uh, for your exam. First question, complete the table by writing the place and place value of underlined digits. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers are given. The underlined digits, you have to write the place value. See here, first question, it is 100th place. Already I told you, this is 10th place, this is 100th place. So 1 is 100th place. The place value of it is 1 by 100. Second one, so it is 1, tens and hundreds. So 9 is 100. Third one, 43.06. Here it refers to 1s, 3. Next, 480.21. So it is 2 by 10, tens position. Next, 978.33. So 7 uh, refers to tens place. Next, uh, second question, do them correctly by shifting decimal. So here when you multiply, first let me explain one uh, sample with proper step by step. So 2.750 into 100. So when you multiply you will be getting first forget about the decimal point. 2750 then add this 0 at the last. Then what you have to do is then count the decimal point. So from uh, from left side it is three digit so you have to uh, point the decimal three digit so it is 275 so it is points if it is point zero it is neutral so the answer would be 275 here similarly you can find the other so here it is 275 next for uh, this question 
the answer is 469.5. The next question it is 234.5. For the last uh, question when you divide you will be getting 1.556. Write in decimal. So is it 15.60 meter. So this is rupees 20.95. Next 9 pi z is rupees 0 0.09. Because 9 by 100 you have to write. Next, write the fraction using decimal. 9 by 100 can be written as 0 0.09. Next, here it is 2.3. Next, it is 0 0.14. Next, it is 0 0.5. Convert into pi's. So, how you should convert? You have to uh, multiply by 100. So, 1 by 4 into 100. You will be getting 100 by 4 that is 25. So here the answer is 25 pi say. Next 10 pi say. Next 75 pi say. Next it is 50 pi say. Sixth question convert decimal into fraction. 12.5 uh, can be written as 125 by 10. So 0 0.45 can be written as 45 divided by 100. 0 0.02 can be written as 2 by 100. 0 0.7 can be written as 7 by 10. Next, add the following. So, here 3 numbers are given. You have to add. So, in this chapter you will be getting addition, subtraction, multiplication, division using decimals. See here, I have given the solution for it. Make sure you write the decimal in the proper line. Then usual addition you can do. Then place the decimal point at the correct uh, position. This is the answer for this. You can write down in your notebook. Pass the video and check the answers. Next. Next is difference. That is also easy. Make sure. So after writing 23.5 you have to place a 0 here. In the uh, space which is empty. Then you have to do usual subtraction. Next, ninth question, write in decimal. So, you have to add. First, let me uh, show for the first question, 530. Here, you have to write 4. 2 by 10 is 0 0.2. And um, 7 by 100 is 0 0.7. So, the answer would be here is 534.27. For the next, it is 40.13. And uh, the next would be 3 naught pi 5.52. For fourth one, it is 730.7, that is 730.7. Next, 600.66. So you can check the answers. Next question, tenth question. The cost of one pen is rupees. 750. What will be the cost of 7 pence? Whenever uh, you get this question, first write down the question what is given. Cost of 1 pen equal to rupees 7.50. Then write cost of 7 pence. You have to multiply it with the 5. So the answer is rupees 37.50. Next, 11th question. Temperature of the following cities was noted at 3 am and 3 pm. Observe the table and give the answers. So, this is the table. How much lower is the temperature of Kolkata from Chennai at 3 pm? So, at 3 pm, temperature of Kolkata, temperature of Chennai you have to write and then you have to subtract. Make sure you write the decimal point correctly. So, the answer is 3.3. What is the difference between temperature at 3 am and 3 pm in Bhopal? So, 25.9 you have to write first and then subtract it with 9.8. The answer is 13.1. When you subtract, you have to write the decimal in the proper place. Also, while doing any kind of operation, you have to 
carefully place the decimal point that is very very important in this chapter so this is all about this chapter you will get uh, uh, these type of questions in your question paper like fa2 fa1 uh, hope this video is useful understanding thanks for watching